When I was asked to introduce my husband, J.D. Vance, to all of you, I was at a loss. What could I say that hasn't already been said before? After all, the man was already the subject of a Ron Howard movie. I met J.D. in law school when he was fresh out of Ohio State, which he attended with the support of the GI Bill. We were friends first because, I mean, who wouldn't want to be friends with J.D.? He was then, as now, the most interesting person I knew. A working class guy who had overcome childhood traumas that I could barely fathom to end up at Yale Law School. My background is very different from JD's. I grew up in San Diego in a middle class community. <laughs> with two loving parents, both immigrants from India and a wonderful sister. That JD and I could meet at all, let alone fall in love and marry, is a testament to this great country. When JD met me, he approached our differences with curiosity and enthusiasm. He wanted to know everything about me, where I came from, what my life had been like. Although he's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, he adapted to my vegetarian diet and learned to cook food from my mother, Indian food. Before I knew it, he had become an integral part of my family, a person I could not, man could not imagine living without. The JD I knew then is the same JD you see today, except for that beard. And and his goals in this new role are the same that he has pursued for our family. To keep people safe, to create opportunities, to build a better life, and to solve problems with an open mind. It's safe to say that neither JD nor I expected to find ourselves in this position. But it's hard to imagine a more powerful example of the American dream. A boy from Middletown, Ohio raised by his grandmother through tough times, chosen to help lead our country through some of its greatest challenges. I am grateful to all of you for the trust you've placed in him and in our family.